This is our Delta flight going to Paris, France. Hey y'all, welcome back to another flight review. Today we're flying Delta Airlines flight DL-118 with non-stop service from Los Angeles International Airport to Paris Charles de Gaulle. The total flight time is 10 hours and 40 minutes for a distance of 5,662 miles. We'll be flying on a 20-year-old Boeing 777-200ER aircraft with a registration number of N864 DA. We're flying basic economy and we're sitting all the way in the back, last row, 56J. Since we're flying basic economy, there is no checked baggage. You do get overhead bin space on Delta flights and you don't get your boarding pass until you check in at the gate. This means you have no clue where you're sitting. At this point, me and my wife were just hoping that we could sit close to each other. Even though we got the very last row on the aircraft, row 56, the travel gods smiled down upon us. It's a three seat row, but only two of the seats were filled. My wife and I, the middle seat was open the complete flight. We got very lucky. Do not expect this to happen to you on a basic economy flight. We were the only basic economy passengers that this happened to. This flight was 99% full. The only empty seat was the middle seat in row 56. Another drawback of basic economy is since you are the last group to board, pretty much all the overhead bench space is taken. My wife found room for her bag, but I had to search the entire plane. And then when I came up empty, I handed it to the flight attendant and she checked it in from there. This Delta 777 was in a four class configuration. There's the Delta One suite, which looked fantastic. Delta Premium Select, Delta Comfort Plus, both those also looked really good too. And then the regular economy section, that's where we're at. In this cabin, there's 122 seats, with each seat having a 31 to 32 inch pitch and an 18 and a half inch width. Pretty standard economy seats. This 777-200 was recently refurbished with all the cabins I mentioned before. And the economy cabin looked really nice. It had the Boeing Sky interior and the nice overhead bins. Really good job on this Delta. We are going to push back and taxi on our way to runway 24 left at LAX on our way to Paris. Hope you enjoy. Again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Delta Flight 118 to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. My name is Jose Pena, your purser. I'm assisted by Sean, main cabin coordinator. We have a total of 10 Los Angeles based flight attendants. We are committed to have a safe and enjoyable flight. Our estimated time of flight will be 10 hours, 7 minutes. That's from takeoff to landing. Again, flight time, 10 hours, 7 minutes. We'll be flying on a Boeing 777 aircraft. At this time, we'll be playing a video that describes the emergency equipment. If you have any questions, please let us know after the, the video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight. Aisle armrests are lowered. And in the Delta Premium Select Cabin, ensure your aisle armrests are raised. As we come through the cabin for our final safety check, please let us know if you have any questions. And finally, now would be a good time for everyone to review the safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. Good morning, folks. My flight deck, Black Adder, welcome aboard the Delta Flight 118 service out to Paris Charles de Gaulle International Airport. We finished all of our checks up front. We are next in line for departure. Traveling 5,183 nautical miles across North America and the North Atlantic. Should take us 10 hours and 7 minutes. As I said, we are next in line for departure. Should we have to ground momentarily? Need to ask the flight attendants to prepare the cabin for takeoff. Uh,
Delta had recently refurbished this 777 and installed the Boeing Sky interior in the economy section. Now let's take a look around the seat. Now let's just take a look at the seat and the space that you'll have during a flight like this. One detail that I forgot to mention was this flight offered Delta's new elevated international economy service. The meal service had a premium economy type feel to it. You got a nice colorful menu and you got to choose between a couple appetizers, a couple main courses, and then you got a dessert at the end. Once we got to a comfortable cruising altitude, the flight attendants came around with a welcome on board cocktail. It was a peach blini. For my dinner meal service, I went with the harissa shrimp appetizer. And for my main plate, I went with the chicken marsala. My wife went with the caprese salad appetizer, and for her main course, she went with the four cheese ravioli. The harissa shrimp, to me, was the better appetizer pick, but the caprese salad was still pretty good. As for the main courses, 
the four cheese ravioli was way better than the chicken marsala. The four cheese ravioli was really good. And the chicken marsala, well, the chicken was pretty dry, which they should have expected on the plane. For dessert, we got single serving Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. I thought it was a pretty cool touch, and I'm a big fan of cookie dough ice cream. Now that meal service is done, let's take a look at the seat back entertainment that you have on the Delta 777-200. If reading is your thing, Delta does have a few magazines in the back of the seat pocket. One item that I absolutely love with Delta is the ability to still text over their Wi-Fi for free. And the message service does work through like Instagram and stuff. You can't send pictures or anything or location, but you can still receive messages. It's really cool. One good thing about being all the way in the back is I don't have to walk that far to the restroom. And surprisingly on this flight, there wasn't a big queue line. So we really didn't get many people standing next to us, which you know can be an issue if you sit too close to the restroom. Now, here is the always highly requested lavatory tour. Enjoy. With the new mill service is a snack area in the back of the plane where you can walk up and get snacks and waters whenever you'd like. Here's what it looked like. About two hours prior to arrival, the breakfast meal service began. There was no choice and you were given an egg and Swiss cheese on an English muffin, and this came with fresh fruit. You also had your choice of beverage, and I went with orange juice. The breakfast was pretty good. It reminded me of a McDonald's Egg McMuffin, and the fruit was really awesome. And the orange juice is orange juice. Not really much to say about that. After breakfast was over, they came by with some little pieces of Toblerone chocolate as a fond farewell. Here are my thoughts on this flight. First things first, Delta, you need to fix the process of giving people who are sitting in basic economy their seat assignments. 
This needs to be done perhaps the night before or when you arrive to the airport to get your credentials verified so you can pass through TSA. By making you go to the gate right before boarding to get your assignment, you create a huge panic and there was about 30 of us waiting in line for our seat assignment and it did push back our boarding time about 25 to 30 minutes. It was kind of chaotic. So once you were at the gate, you had to check in with the gate agent and then she would send you away and you waited about 20 minutes and then they would call you back. It was just a haphazard process. As for the plane, I thought Delta did a great job. They always do really good jobs with older planes. Like I said earlier, this 777 was 20 years old and it looked brand new. With the new Boeing Sky interior and the newer seats, this plane looked amazing. The flight attendants on this flight were awesome. They all had a great sense of humor and were just chatty in nature. Delta has done a great job on their new elevated international economy meal service. Starting with the welcome on board cocktail, that was a really nice touch and that's typically something you only receive if you're sitting in a premium cabin. Then going to the menu, it was nice, big, colorful, and laid out all your dining options. Welcome it was also cool to be able to eat your food on a placemat and a decent plate and decent dishware. As for the snack section in the back of the plane, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be and it was really tiny, but they did keep replenishing it and they did have a good variety of snacks in it. This, the presentation of that could have been a little better. But other than that, it's a great addition. Now working back to the laboratory, it was pretty cool. It was really small, but what to expect, it's economy class. But it was awesome that it did have kind of the uh, mood lighting in there as well. But they've done a good job on that too. Delta's entertainment system is awesome. I've always been a fan of the Delta entertainment system. I've flown them domestically a few times and it's intuitive. It's very um, interactive. It doesn't really like too much and it has great content on it. Another big thing that I love about Delta is being able to connect to the Wi-Fi and either send text messages through data or go on platforms like Instagram and send um, text messages as well. It's really cool to be able to talk to people on the ground. Then you can let them know if anything happens on the flight, if you're gonna be late, if you're gonna be early. It's just a really nice touch. I wish more airlines did this. The travel kit that Delta provides you is pretty nice too. It came with a hand cleansing towelette, which was pretty cool so you could kind of clean up when you first got on the plane. It came with earplugs and an eye mask, and it also had earbuds so you could hook up to the IFE. Overall, for economy, I thought this was really nice. This is completely non-Delta related, but we landed at 8 in the morning, and as you can tell from the footage, it looks like it's midnight. It's crazy. I didn't realize Paris in the wintertime, the sun doesn't rise until like 9 a.m. With that being said, if you made it this far, you're awesome. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. If you got anything to say, bad, positive, whatever, put it down below. I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all.